Question for you. Why haven't you quit your crappy old job? Or why haven't you retired? Now remember, retired is not synonymous necessarily with taking Social Security. I just mean, why are you still in your crappy old job? And I, I, I literally would like to know. I'm asking, and I don't want to, I mean, I, I, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, you know, when I was at USAA, I stayed in my crappy old job uh, because I was making a lot of money. There's no other way around that. I was actually, let me turn the fan. Making a lot of money. Uh, the benefits were through the roof. Uh, it wasn't a job I, I loved, but I, I, I was, it was okay. It was okay. And I said, man, for the, uh, for what I'm doing, um, the money I'm making and, you know, the people I get to, you know, contact with, I said, this is, this is okay. It's not great. I didn't wake up and say, I can't wait to get to work. Um, unlike now, I love it. I mean, I love what I do now, but, uh, you know, I was making 200,000 a year at USA. You know what I'm saying? And more than that, when you factor in the bonuses and all, it was nuts, nuts. And I wasn't, I, <laughs> I mean, look, I'm not saying it wasn't worth it. The, you know, the market pays what the market pays. But, I mean, I, I, I walked away from that. And then I walked away from that with no income whatsoever. And, uh, and then still needed health insurance. And, uh, you know, I had, you know, a, a decent mid-sized six-figure 401k, which we drew on. Um, but you know, I was 47 when I left 48 Yeah, 48, no 47. So I just got back from taking Pablo for a walk, but that was tough, tough. You know, we were paying 24,000 for Cobra a year for the insurance. I uh, literally made no money the first year. I made $24,000 the first year and I had a hundred and I think I took 130,000 out from my IRA, my 401k, which I had rolled to an IRA, uh, which was penalized. So I had to pay 13% penalty at 13,000 a penalty. No, I think I took a hundred thousand out. That's what it was. It net it cost me one hundred thirty to take a hundred thousand out. That's what it was. I took a hundred thousand out for the first year, which meant I had with a penalty in the taxes, it cost me one hundred thirty. That's what it was. I remember that seeing that uh, uh, <laughs> that ten ninety nine one hundred thirty thousand. Um, and uh, it, it's I, anyway. When I did it, and I'm glad I did. I'm not saying you need to do that. I'm just saying. But that was for me. I said I just can't. Um, for me, it was a drive to Buckhead. I could not, I was just every single day sitting in that car, an hour to an hour and a half each way, every single day to go down there and work an equivalent of a call center because they got rid of their face-to-face -face meetings and it was just a call center. And then to be told by, I mean, literally idiots um, who, were, who had taken over the wealth management program that this is uh, just idiotic. And I said, I just can't, I literally could not do that anymore. I worked, you know, I was hesitant to go on my own. So when I left USAA, I tried a couple of detours with other firms, both making decent money. But I just, I said, I can't, I just can't stay in this business working for these people. And, uh, but anyway, that's what kept me because the money was good. And, uh, you know, I had, like I said, a mid six figure 401k and I just, and, uh, you know, four kids and I said, well, we're just gonna have to try this. And, um, uh, and you know, so far so good. I mean, for the last two years I've made, I just, let's just say so far so good. What's keeping you from retirement? And again, when I said, I hate say, I, I have to use the term retirement because that's what people hear that hear retirement. Um, that's what the algorithm likes. That's what gets people, what's keeping you from retiring, retiring. I, I don't even mean retiring. I retired from my crap old job into something I did not, I have, I, it's something I is not crap old job. I work freaking 24 hours, well, 24 seven. I'm always working. I love it, man. I love, that's why people, you do so many videos, you do so many live streams, you do so many, um, you know, I'm working on my book on, uh, my Wellington book. It's, you know, I mean, I'm almost done now. I mean, it's done. I'm just editing it now. I freaking love it. I love everything about it. I love what I do. I got clients. You know, I got, I work with clients. I got one tomorrow I'm talking to. I had two today. Busy as a bee and a bonnet. Sting! But what's keeping you? I would like to hear that because uh, I've been thinking, and I, I'm not going to, I'm not ready to present my thoughts on this yet. Um, but I have a, I have a, I've been thinking a lot on this. I actually put my phone down for all today, and I walked him twice. I took a long walk for myself. And I said, I'm just going to walk and think because I, I just been thinking about this all day. Like, why are we still in these crappy old jobs if it's literally driving us to a grave that, and or we, I'm literally because you get fat and heavy and nasty. You get depressed. Uh, you come home and you drink yourself. You just, you just, you're not happy. Why are we staying in these places? What is it? Is it just a devil? You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, may, again, it could be healthcare. I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not trying to chastise you for doing it. I just want to know why. 
what is keeping you in your crappy old job? Healthcare, you're making good money. You might like it. If you like it, it's not a crappy old job, is it? Right? If it's, uh, um, I, I don't know. I just, what is it? So, you know, I'd love to hear, and I, I'm trying, I, off the top of my head, I don't know. It, it might be all kinds of different things, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. You got a lot of vested money or unvested uh, stock options. Um, there's no other work, I, you know, but if there's no other work, that's not enough. That's not, I mean, I get it, there's no other work, but why do we need other work is what I'm trying to say. Well, because I need money. How, how do you know that? When's the last time you actually dived into that? I mean, see, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I get the thing with healthcare. I need healthcare. That's an easy one. All right. Now we can discuss that, but I, I get that. I, there's no other, I, I work in freaking Danville, Virginia, and there's no other work. You know what I'm saying? Because Danville is an old textile place that's just been devastated. Um, so if I don't have this job, I have no income. Or I, have no, I don't have a job. Well, how do you know you need a job? How do you know? Have you actually dived into it and seen? Well, I need to have money. Why? Well, I need health care. Again, we're going back to health care. I need to put food on the table. Uh, you don't have savings. I mean, just have you ever dived into that? And, you, and it might be that you know. I don't know. I'm not trying to chastise you. I just want to know. I'd love to hear it. And, uh, um, and I don't want to put a like a, uh, a quiz, say, you know, this, that, because I don't want I want people, if, if you're willing to say. Now, you might not be willing to say in a public place with your name on there. I get that. But We'd love to hear it. Anyway, so if you want to put it in the uh, comments, uh, why, uh, how come you haven't retired from your crappy old job? That's probably a good way to, to answer that. I'd love to hear it. All right. And then, of course, I will read these too, by the way. So just be careful because I'm interested why other people haven't. And uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. And I'll read these because I'm, I'm interested. I'll, dial, I'll monologue as I read what you have to say. And again, I don't want to come across like I'm chastising you. I am not. Please, I just, I'm curious. I'm curious. All right, thanks.